First time I heard of uh, Oscar Colazzo, I think it was uh, the press conference before his fight with Nick Salyudar. It was on the undercard of uh, Ryan Garcia's fight with Javier Fortuna. I was expecting a lot from him because uh, I knew he was a, a, a really good amateur fighter. Um, there's the, the Puerto Rican tradition of uh, boxer punchers. Um, and I, I knew he was gonna be tested because Salyudar is a, a, a veteran straw weight from uh, the Philippines who's fought everybody. That night, Colazzo was in a real fight because he was uh, facing a world-class, well-traveled veteran. Um, but I saw him, uh, you know, bite down. At first I saw, saw a, a really nimble boxer, uh, and then I saw a guy gain confidence with each round, um, and a guy who could bite down on his mouthpiece, dig to the body, um, and, and score a knockdown, but it was still a, a tough fight. But it's the kind of fight that uh, an up and coming fighter needs if, if that fighter is headed towards a world title. Um, and in Colazzo's next fight, he, he's fighting in a world title elimination bout, which is kind of crazy considering that he's five and oh, but at those, those lighter weight classes, sub featherweight, sub bantamweight, when you're talking about straw weights, junior flyweights and flyweights, it's not uncommon for fighters to, to go for their, their first world title before their 10th world fight. 